Hi, welcome back to today's episode on Data Delight. I remain your host, Connie Eze. Subsequently, we've had several businesses. Anyone can actually wake up in Nigeria, open a business. Of course, CSC is almost free. You can just use your money and walk that path through. You start a business, you use any platform you want on social media to grow your business. And to any reason, you can do whatever you like. Nobody is there to question you. You've paid your dues, of course. CAC. Last week, a said lady was called out on Snap. She was plugged to another customer's husband to buy hair from her. But she didn't just deliver hair. She delivered extra, something else. The plug called her out. And I think she was harassed. But we heard that the hair vendor arrested the plug. So today we're going to talk about unspoken rules doing business in Nigeria. Unspoken rules doing business using the internet. So we have a beautiful guest who is not just a business owner, she's a multiple business owner. She's been able to grow her business from the scratch to what it is now. And she has garnered lots, lots of, lots of, I can't just tell you um, knowledge. And she has garnered so much experience handling three businesses. She's the Ahunaza brand. Welcome to Data Delight. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Okay. So um, we're ask, I'm going to ask you, um, how is it starting from the scratch and building three different brands? I know you, you just started the Ahonaza brand yeah. lately. So how has it been? Um, one thing I'm going to say is, first of all, being a small business owner in Nigeria is, <laughs> is hell. But... Mm, through it all, you just have to continuously just show up. There's no day that you don't show up. Even when you feel like it and when you don't feel like it, you just show up. And that's what matters. And being a business owner in Nigeria, it takes a toll, not just on you physically, but your mental health, your spiritual life. Because some of the times there are things that you ask God for and then it's like, oh, he's not even listening to you or he's not coming through for you but so far so good i'm grateful for the growth yeah. because yeah um there's something pastor david Oedipo will say he'll say surely slowly but surely. surely yeah so the growth is what really matters that's it that's so, yeah. that's very beautiful i i must comprehend like i i don't know over time, in four years, you've been able to like gather something, not just yeah. something, you've been able to gather things, the experience, the a lot. Yeah. We we see you, we appreciate that. Thank you. So for a small business owner yeah. who is still starting up, like who is still trying to build yeah. something that is something that people can bank on. Yeah. How do you cope with customers? Who want to, should I say, who do not just want to buy from you? Who want to buy something else from you? Yeah. How did you pass through all of those? So I'm going to give you a scenario. So there was this guy that chatted me up. Um, like you said, I run a food business. So he said he wanted to buy food. But that I would have to bring it to him by myself. I told him, okay, no problem. Is it not to bring it to you that's the problem? No issues, I'll bring it to you myself. And then when I told him that, he said that this is the hotel that he's staying in. And I'm like, hotel, would you come downstairs and pick it up, maybe at the lobby? Because the place that he said that he was at, I was going to pass through that place, actually, that evening. So... When he said hotel, I told him, okay, I'll meet you at the lobby and then deliver it to you and whatnot and whatnot. 
And mind you, this customer is not a stranger. This is somebody that I know. So it's not the strangers. Mm. No, it's really the people that you know that be acting like this. And then he said, that why am I acting like a child? As if I don't know. And I'm like, see, if you want to buy food, you buy food. If there's something else you to want eat, to buy, there is something else that you want to buy. I'm very sorry, but then I'm not offering that type of service. Yeah, do you get? Yeah. And I understand that there are people that do this because if there are no people, uh, my professor in the university would say that it is because there are people that personalize prostitutes. That is the reason why you see prostitutes yeah. come out on the uh, yes. day. So if there are no people that patronize these people in this act, there's, I'm telling you that there's no way it would work. Mm. There's no way these people will be out here acting like this. So that's just it. Anyways, um, when he said that, and then I told him, see, I can't do this. I'm not about that type of life. Do you know what this person did? You wouldn't guess. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> that I should cancel the order now. Has he, he had paid already, right? He had paid. I should okay. cancel the order and I should refund him his money. Uh, uh, the, the, did he forget no refund policy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, when it comes to business, I'm yeah. somebody that I know like Wala. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it comes to treating my customers. Yeah. I told him no issues. I'll refund you your money. As long as you would not have something that you can or say. Or pin me on. Yeah. I refunded him the money. How much? Can, if you want to buy something from a vendor... You go ahead and buy what you want to buy. Don't come Tides, around and act something. like yeah. not everybody is into that type of stuff. Do you get? Yes. So I feel like with time, I have come to the space where I can say to a customer, oh, I don't do this. I, they are, apart from, they are, I, it's, no, it's not one mm. occasion. I just give an instance. Mm. Oh, you deliver it to me by yourself. I've had somebody that told my friend that he would book flights for her from the east to Lagos so that she would deliver clothes <laughs> that he bought. And I'm like, I don't understand. <laughs> Do you get? Yeah. So I feel like over time I have had the, should I say courage, to tell somebody off and be like, no, I don't offer this type of service. service yeah. Besides, why should I sleep with you for you to buy something Before from me? me? You need my service. service. So if you need my service, I'll render my service to you. But I'm not rendering not your my body. Service. <laughs> not my service. <laughs> so anyway, that's just it. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know. I saw it on someone's status. The lady sells Afang, you get. Okay. And then someone bought Afang for 20K. Okay. Oh, God, your Afang is ready. The ride will bring it to you. The master is sort You are a fool. What, what's, why will I, I, I buy Afang I, for 20,000? I think 000? I saw that. You saw I think it, yeah? I saw that. Why will I buy? The lady was like, no, it's Afang. Now you want it, Afang. The man said, you're a very foolish girl. I want to help your life. I, I, <laughs> I, I saw that. Why will I buy Afang for 20,000? The man insulted es this lady. Excuse me, sir. There are people that pay over 500,000 naira for, for people same? to cook that same <laughs> Afang and they don't ask anything in return. I said, the insult was too much. So I'd be like, was it even I necessary? It. I, it was a WhatsApp conversation. Yes, yes. I, I did. Someone it. reposted it. And I'd be like, yeah. people have patience. I'd be blocking. Before you even finish typing the I second. Think when it comes to customers. Yeah. When it comes to customers, mm. I, in as much as this saying, customer is always right. Should it's I, not, it's not I, the full. Should I, exactly. It's not the full. It's not the full, yeah, it's full not sentence. The full, but I try as much as, I've had customers who are rude to me, who have yeah. said certain things to me that, I am a customer as well. Yeah. Aside from being a vendor, I am a customer. And I know that there are certain things that I would never say to a vendor. I would, and do, do you know the funny thing is, most of these people that, most of the people that say these things to you, they are also vendors. Though. Exactly. Everybody is selling something right now. So imagine you as a vendor saying something like this to another, another vendor. vendor. Do you get? Yeah. So I feel like as time goes on, everybody just has to understand that there are certain ways that you have to respect people. people. The internet is not a place for you to mm. run mad. No. Mm. So that's on that. That's good. Now, but you said something about people who... That if there are no people prostituting, yeah. if there are no people patronizing, patronizing. prostitutes, then yeah. there won't be prostitutes coming out every night. Yes. Now, people who really do this, yes. 
does it in any way help their business? Because I don't know. I feel if if a man comes to me for this, he's buying one of. Yes. Will he need this service again after sleeping with me? So do you think it helps the business or it mars the business? So I had a friend. I have a friend, a very close friend actually. When she finished from school, that was last year, she came to Lagos and she was saying she wanted to go into real estate in Lagos on the island. Don't. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I have always been somebody that loves real estate. I love the idea of investing in houses and selling houses. So I think she also has that type of idea, that type of dream mm. as well. So when she told me she was going to come to Lagos and she was going to sell houses and all of that, at some point, I, you know me, mm. I'm somebody that mm. I will always want to check up on your growth. Yes. I always want to know how far, how are you doing? Mm. This thing that you how said, it gone? Yeah, this thing you said you wanted to do, mm. how are you doing it? I like to be in people's space and yes. help and them achieve their growth. Yes. And their growth. Yeah. So I asked her one day, just randomly, and she said that, oh, that she came to Lagos, that some of her male friends discouraged her from going into the whole real estate thing because they said that on the island here that there are girls that do real estate only to sell their body in order to get customers. There was how the conversation mm. went. Did you get? But the end game of it was, oh, if you are into real estate... Anybody that is into real mm. estate is also into prostitution. Side, side hustle prostitution. Sell, yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. So if you ask me if it helps their business grow, if you sleep with somebody and you sell a house to the person and the person assures you that they are going to buy the house, it will add to the growth of your business because there will be money entering your account. But at the same time, morally, morally, I would say, you want to buy a house. Excuse me, sir. If you want to buy a house, buy a house. But I think, I mean, eh, to some extent, I feel, the way I feel, I said yeah. it earlier, will you come and buy the house again because you slept with me? You won't. There has to be a longevity plan. Thank you. For some kind of things. There are, there are, things, that they, that they, there are things that they say, I think hot customers, cold customers, mm. warm customers, mm. there are customers that would always return for more because of your customer, customer service, service and all of that. So the reality is, if somebody is giving you a proposition that, oh, I want to sleep with you to buy this from you, what does that tell you as a person? Or are you just desperate for the money that you're going to get from it after sleeping with them? Or are you, in your head, mm. are you about the growth of the your brand? Yeah. Are you about the growth of your business or are you about the growth of your pocket? Because it's two different things. There are people that do business just because they want to put money in their pocket. pocket. And there are people that do business because they, they want, want to, to grow, grow something. Brand. Yes. There's something. They want people to be able to look at them and bank on yes. them. Somebody like Vicky James, for example, this person is someone that has grown mm, a brand. brand. If, if Vicky is not there, the brand will stand. Exactly. If tomorrow she comes out now and says she wants to start selling Anything it's people going to will pick buy up. Yes, because yes. they trust. She just did a the trade brand. Fair. Yes, she just did a trade fair. Thank you very much. They trust the brand. So you that wants a customer to sleep with you so that you can get you so that you can sell your market. You don't even know the market that you are selling. selling. Whether it's your product, I be yourself. Mm -hmm. To some extent, I think okay. Let's use the land, yeah. the landed property you yes. talked about. The man sleeps with you and gets the land. Yes. Will he come and buy another one? From you, that he slept with. There are many other hot girls out there now. What are that you saying? That he will still go and sleep 20K, with you again. Even the 20K, even the 20K afang, for crying out loud, how many times will he eat afang in a month? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like, when, so, I, when I saw so that to some video, extent, if he's going to keep buying afang, so each time he buys afang, he, he will sleep with you. How do you guys do this? It's scary. I feel like this generation, we have life backwards. <laughs> Genuinely speaking, we have life backwards and it's terrifying knowing that you're going to grow children in a society like this even me i'm trying i'm struggling mm, to, to grow, yeah you're trying, yes. yeah so it's scary it's really it's something to be worried about in yeah. a way it's something to be worried about so talking about unspoken rules to online business okay. you know most of us didn't get the 
we learn business ourselves. Most of us yeah. didn't do business True. school. True. We True. didn't take any online course to do business. True. We just start. True. So is there any unspoken rule about running a business online? Like, is there, there are things, it's unspoken because we were not taught. We're not it takes taught. a lot to study um, yeah. business in, in university. Yes. And trust me, business in university as a study is not different. business in reality it's different. in Nigeria. It's different. So is there, is there a, an unspoken rule to run a business First online? of all, one thing I'm going to say is, most people don't get it, but as a business owner, being honest is one rule that I, I feel like people don't speak about. Be honest to your customers. Be, the truth is your customer cannot beat you. You are all mom. You are not my parents. You can't, I will tell you how it is. Excuse me, I can't deliver this thing today. This, this, this. There, I know somebody that... She used to run a clothing brand. I don't even know if she's still running the clothing brand till now. But then I referred somebody to her, a friend. And you know this type of, oh, make you refer your friend to a mm. friend. Okay, so um, this person that I referred to you paid for a cloth in December. And as at January ending, she had not gotten her clothes. And she was always calling me, always disturbing me. Yeah, you're the me. one, you're the, you're the person. I'm the middleman yeah. here. And I'm me as a person, I'm calling you that is my friend. You're not picking my calls. You are, uh, it's worrisome. It's worrisome. So I feel like one unspoken rule is be honest. Being honest. Two is being diligent to your work. If, you're pro if you say your product is going to do this, please let it do it. Because I feel like right now, everybody comes online to just sell anything and everything without really understanding that there are, there are things that you don't do when it concerns your customers. Now, regarding that person that slept with a customer's husband, husband a boyfriend, you are a woman. Men will chase you every day. Men will approach you. Men will always come to meet you. There is no way that they will not come and meet you because first of all, they are seeing you, you are a pretty woman. So you as a person have to have the urge, you have to have the... You have the, to be solid. You have to be solid and tell somebody, no, I can't do this. And funny, a customer's husband, mm. she came to buy... The man might actually want to buy a hair of five million. Has she seen five million naira customer one-off? And you she, she sleep with you. If you, me, I'm not somebody that judge people. Yeah. But if your conscience can carry it, mm. are you and God, Sabi? If your conscience can carry you sleeping with a customer's husband, for you to even buy put, something for her. So okay, he wanted to buy something for her. His wife. You know now you want to buy something for your woman, and your woman is like, okay, now just see the plug. Okay, see the plug. People are scary. <laughs> <laughs> People are scary. She still brought police. See, she still brought police to even arrest the woman for harassing her. He's the man for me. Arrest the husband. The woman. woman. Yes, the woman the came wife. to change it for. Yes, the woman came to change it for her, and then she carried police to arrest the woman. It's the man. For, people have chest. You are talking about <laughs> conscience. They have. They have balls. Are you serious? Yeah. They have balls. Wow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Eh. <laughs> You are the chinik again. Okay, sleep with somebody else, but you arrest the woman on top of the play. You want Mariam? Eh? It shock you. I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> but truth is, I say woman, your husband has something to do with somebody, mm. vendor or not. Mm. I don't see a reason why you should approach your fellow woman. Now you and that man will not they sleep for it, bed. It, it, do you think it's easy to have Odogu that 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 that, that can buy you hair five million that down that woman wants to snatch? Please hold him tight. Fight for your man. It's not me that said you shall fight for mm, your, your man. man you dog, to... you put on change for neck. You keep on for house. Mm. <laughs> fight for your I man. I believe I, you see that thing people say about how men are these men. Yeah. I believe that a man, uh, a real knows man, yeah. what he He's was doing. doing. I wanted to call so names, if but you go to they know. fight somebody mm. for somebody that was fully. Uh -uh. This one is the one she the, saw. What about the ones you didn't see? Do you think it's the customer that that initiated, that, that initiated it? I doubt it's the customer that initiated it. And you went uh, to fight her. As they arrest you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your body, he will come and uh, uh, now. He will bear you he now. Bear you now. It's just going around like that. <laughs> so another thing is in this whole unspoken thing is please avoid. 
So anything we go make you speak English. <laughs> Where you concerned? <laughs> because that woman now, she's too much English that she's speaking yeah. right now. There are certain things that you shouldn't do when it involves your customer. Like, I don't understand. Say you don't like money. Ni. Collect your money and be going. Go. Hey, I like money. I do my business. I take my money and I go. go. It's as simple as that. There's no two way around it. Me you come and be dragging talk. Me. Why? <laughs> Anyways, people should, please, learn to understand that their relationship, when it comes to business, keep it professional. Yeah. You know how you can go to the bank and then that lady that is sitting at the bank is, good morning. That's how you should, should be, be with your... Co- in as much as the lady at the bank can seem friendly, mm. but not flirty. Yeah. So in no way should you and your customer ever get into that situation where people are being sneaky mm. or having side... Mm. So it's your job as a business it's owner. It's your job as a business, especially as a woman. woman. Because men will approach you. You are not a goat. Especially mm. maybe you are very pretty, pretty. and all of that. Not very so endowed. Pretty. Right, right now, it's not even, even about the pretty face right now. It's even about one being endowed and then they see that you are resourceful. One thing I know is you are the person that calls the shots. Yes, yes. As a woman, you call the shots. You shot. call the shots. Yes. So if somebody comes into your day with a certain type of attitude mm. or a certain type of whatever, you are the person Stand that... Stand warning straight up. So then, you know, unless you like it, unless you like it, unless you, you like go it. ahead. Mm-hmm. Now brings me to the set of people who you do contact gain and then they want to do, hi, this is Abike pre-order. We do so, so, and so, and so, and so. And they are not showing you their face. Abike Priyoda, show us your face. You are doing this. Is a, you are showing us bum bum. Abike Priyoda is showing us breasts. Funny What's enough, going on? Funny enough, I, I recently had a conversation with somebody about this. Face and behind the know. brand is showing us breasts. How? What's going Call on? Call me naive. Call me naive. But I told that person, are you serious? People really do this. I think you... I, th- I want you... I'll show you. I'll show you. She's, she's into treats. You are showing us... You're, show, you're supposed to be showing us your face. This is the face. This is the face. This is what they call face. Abi, yeah. I know go no risk. This is face. This is the face behind the brand. But you're showing us bum bum. You're are showing us hot body. I think this is what even brings us to that. Puts them in that situation. Yes. Are you looking for custom? Abi, you're looking for that thing. But some of the time, eh, it's not really about how you are. It's just how these men, men are. are. It's as simple mm. as that. If somebody, I don't know if you remember the incident that happened in 2020 where a girl was raped in a church. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 So. That's the truth, that's the truth. But then those people that, mm, if you are showing your nyash as Abike Priyoda, Abike face, Priyoda. Face behind oh, the brand. <laughs> bomb behind the brand. Then, then, you, exactly. This type of people now, then you know that this is what they are yeah, online um, for. for. I think these are the people these people are supposed to even approach. Thank you. Everybody to intent of mm, Israel. Yes. You Nobody's going to feel embarrassed. Thank Nobody's you. snatching anybody's anything. I heard my friend told me of someone that sells duvet. Mm. I should carry duvet and go to your house. So. My friend was telling me about his girlfriend in school. She sells boxers, like inner wears for, mm, men. for men. Back in the days now, boxers yeah. now how much? She was selling 15k, 30k. She delivers at night and comes back the next day. Like my friend was telling me. And he was okay with the whole thing because why not? They, their relation, you know how university relationships mm. used to be. It was just the whole... He told me you know, that he's not saying it, that his girlfriend in university sells boxers, men in our way, singlets, all of those stuff. And she delivers only at night. And he was okay with it. He was not dating her per day. So okay. I love. You know how yeah, I told you? Yeah, yeah. So you go and deliver for them, you come and deliver for me. That was how their relationship was. He was telling me to my face, because I was telling him about some girls who leave the next gate. They sell perfumes, they deliver mm-hmm. at night, always in the night. They go to do their deliveries, like, lag ride will come, pick them at night, in the mm-hmm. morning, lag ride will come and like, drop them, they go to do their deliveries. These, like people are making, these people are making online business difficult for people who are not doing what they are doing. Because why would I tell somebody, I'm sorry I cannot deliver to you, and the next thing, you're raining courses on me. Or you're telling me I should refund you, and all of that. It's scary for you to act like that. Are you a small girl? That's the first thing they will throw to you. Are you a small girl? Are you girl? a child? <laughs> excuse you me, excuse like me, <laughs> sir. You, are you a child? How can you come to somebody's... You do, you do, if you want to come, come correct. Don't go through the corners. <laughs> 
Yes, you ask no. me, am I a child? You are the one that wants you. Yes, you are the one that is a child. Are you a small girl? Like, that's the one that pisses me off every time. At my age, you're asking me, am I, me I'm a small girl? My mother's a small girl. Since you don't want to be an adult. Are you a small girl? I live with my parents. Uh, uh. Mm. I'm a small girl, though. And most of people, they are, they are really making online business very difficult. Yes, they are making it terrible, a very terrible because, experience. Because, and I feel like people that sell clothing for men, I feel like they suffer more. I won't even like have a friend. I feel like they suffer more because you can't come into somebody's DM as a intending customer. And the next thing you're asking the vendor, send me your pick. <laughs> What do you want to do with my pick? <laughs> what, what are you looking for? Send me your pick. pick. Is that what you are supposed to be asking? Like, I should send you pictures of what you want, want to, to buy. buy. Say, send me your pick. pick. <laughs> you look hot. <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> so, um, I just feel like in this generation, yeah. um, if you as a person want somebody that would buy, that, would, that you will buy from, and then the person would also deliver to you, Good, no problem. Go and look for, for those them. Type yeah, of go look for them. Go look for those type of people. You don't force it on them. No, you don't. It's wrong. And some of the times, it makes you as a vendor question yourself because seeing the money, maybe a customer that's bought better markets, you now start telling your yana if you cannot refund me. It takes a certain type of self control to be able to tell yourself no you know refund what? policy. Call police. I don't produce it in finish. Call police. Imagine, okay, let's let's say a person is a surprise planner. Yes. Your money has gone into the surprise. Yes. And you are telling me I'm going to be in the hotel a day before the No, the you shall be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you have to job. Yeah. Prepare your mind to be surprised. Yes. It's as simple as that. These people make business hard. Yeah. Genuinely speaking. Mm-hmm. But still, I feel like everybody just has to have the mindset that. Oh, if I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. And that's it. That's yeah. on period. There's no two ways about it. It's either you're doing it or you're not doing it. Okay, so let's give a final word for small business owner from our Odogu Ahonaza. I just want to say, it's not easy. It, it cannot even be easy. But one thing I want you to know is, show up. Even when you sell, even when you don't sell, even when customers are rude to you, even when you buy markets and they scam you, and they show up, just show up. Along the line, you will track the years that has gone by, and you will see that, oh, I grew. Yeah. That's exactly what happened to me. Mm. Oh, I, I really grew. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just it. Just show up. Show up. That's just the word. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. It's so beautiful to have you sit with us on Data Delights. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. That's so great. to the, our beautiful audience, has anybody ever told you to come and be of service and offer your service to them? Please tell us on the comment section. Has life as a business owner been terrible or beautiful to you? Are there stern rules you put up in your business? I know someone who puts in his buy, like in his welcome notes, if you are here to buy, buy. If you are here to disturb me, go to the next vendor. Very straight to the point. And he's a young man. So if you're that kind of custom, if you're that kind of business owner, please tell us on the comment section. Thank you for always sticking with us. Thank you for watching all our episodes. Thank you for sharing. We see you. So today, our shout-out goes to Queen Duella. We see you. We love you. We see your likes. We see your shares. Thank you for always being here with us. Do not fail to like, subscribe, and share. See you same time, same place next week. Bye.